This is Imeni Nasdaq strategy, which I recorded and shared with you in February. Since then, it made new equity highs. However, how about this? Well, we suffered a lot of false entries. How can we get rid of it? How can we get from this strategy to this? Well, let me show you in this video. Hi, my name is Thomas Nissendal in the trading industry known as the Mr. Breakout. I'm a professional breakout trading specialist, the author of the life-changing breakout trading book and author of the universal breakout trading formula, highly prized by traders and professionals from around the world, which you can get at this link. The fix I'm going to share with you today is extremely easy to implement. You will implement it literally in one minute. It's extremely powerful, universal, and can do real magic. By the way, the whole idea comes from the perfect timing pyramid, which you can find more information about on the link below. It's completely for free. Okay, so what is the secret of reducing this whole area of stagnance and full of false entries and potentially many more areas like this? It's very, very simple. You need to remember one golden rule of trading. Many false breakout entries do happen at the high of the day or at the low of the day. High of the day and low of the day are one of the strongest support and resistance levels. That's where the market suffers many times, doesn't have the power to break through and causes a lot of false entries. So if we remove any trade on new high of the day or new low of the day, we will get rid of all the false entries as well. How do we implement this idea practically? Again, I'm not going through the strategy itself. I've already shared the strategy in this episode in the past. So if you're interested about how this strategy works, just watch the episodes. But I'm going to show you how to reduce these false breakout entries. So all we need to do, we need to add a condition which will not trade at the high of the day and not trade at the low of the day. So in TradeStation, the condition looks like this and high high d today is not current high by the way high d in trade station is calculated on each new intraday closed bar so there is no look ahead bias and if you think there is a look ahead bias you don't understand how trade station works so in that case please refer to tradestation.com uh, training material they have plenty of uh, information there and it explains very clearly how this function works there's no look ahead bias it measures the high of day on each intraday closed bar and then we use the same function for low of the day. So low of the day must not be low. That means we're not trading at the high of the day or we're not trading at the low of the day. That's it. Now we're reducing false, many false breakout entries because that's the strongest support and resistance level. So we verify the strategy and let's have a look what will happen. That's it. We still keep making new equity highs, but now a lot of false entries have been reduced. Now, let me ask you, what do you use to reduce false entries? Again, this idea comes from the perfect timing pyramid, but I am also curious, what do you use to reduce false entries? And if you want me to share more material like this, please also give us thumb up and subscribe to this channel so i know i should keep sharing my know-how like this comment below and see you soon again